What's up everybody? George back at it and uh, this is the Pro X. Some people have asked me some questions about it. So um, this is the return that somebody brought and uh, during shipping it's broken on the frame. Uh, they couldn't updo the firmware and whatnot. But uh, just to show you, scroll right and scroll left. It goes in the correct direction. And uh, I'm going to prepare our home. That was kind of fast. Let's do that again. So it just touches off on the bed once, touches off on the extruder once, uh, uh, excuse me, z-axis, and then once on the x-axis. So this is y, this is x, and z is up and down. Now, this has got the GT2560, and the blue wire right here is the end stop for the x-axis. The z-axis is down here, and notice the connection I'm using two outside ones on uh, all these. On the y-axis, I've placed it right here instead of on the left, which uh, hits at a different spot. Um, by doing it this way, you're going to get an extra 30 millimeters of uh, print volume if you have a longer glass plate, but it's not going to be totally heated on the edges. So FYI. Um, here's a GT2560, and it goes extruder 1, extruder 2, bed. On the thermosistor connections, it goes... Thermistor, extruder one, extruder two, and then bed. For the Z, for the stepper drivers. Now, if you want to do a physical orientation of what setting these should be, there's a little flat spot at the top of each of these. Uh... Come on, focus. Really. No, it's not gonna focus camera. Anyways, um, there's a little flat spot at the top of these potentiometers. If you have them all leveled, that's about 0.8. Now, your X and, uh, excuse me, your extruder and um, your uh, Z axis, you want them sometimes a little bit higher, like 0.1 volts. And the way you measure that is you put a multimeter on GND ground and the positive lead on the potentiometer, and that'll give you reference voltage from 1 to 2 volts. You want it at 0.9 volts. The end stops go X, min, that one's empty because that's the max, Y, min, Y max is empty, and then it goes Z, min, Z max is empty. Now these are the two for the, the Z driver, uh, excuse me, Z steppers, Y stepper, X stepper. This is for the extruder. And uh, you got your different fan connections. Now this one, the way I have it mounted, as you can see, I didn't have no problems mounting this. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, SD card right there. This is the extra hardware that I have for it. And uh, these are the clips for the glass plate, which I did not get for some reason. Uh, 10 millimeters of free filament. I'm gonna print out a replacement bracket which was broken on here. I have super glued the frame. Uh, that's because I'm just gonna sell it locally and I don't want to ship it out. And this has already been calibrated and everything. So, uh, and I'm gonna calibrate the extruder right now. So this is um, the Y-axis motor bracket and whoever buys it from me, I'll just give them the next one printed out by this machine itself. So, uh, the size is usually written on here, which is um, 1.75 millimeters, and it'll say MK82, which means the 1.75 millimeter, because 2 means a 2 millimeter inside diameter, and it's a 0.3 millimeter nozzle. So, in case you guys are wondering, the sticker will say it right there, and now it wants to focus out of all times. And then it loses focus. The love of yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, that's some black PLA that I just rolled up on an old uh, spool that I had. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, George back at it, and uh, see you guys on the next one. I will be posting this um, firmware on WordPress really soon.
go from there. I'm probably going to add another blog, so, you know, a new blog. Peace. Have a good one. God bless.